Hey all, Kurt Sasso here from TGT Web Comics at C2E2 with the rest of the Swedish invasion. We have Kolbein here from Sweden, of course, yeah. talking about The Troll King, his newest book here. How you doing, Kolbein? I'm doing great, actually. It's been a really hectic festival, and the whole trip here has been amazing. And I mean, the Mocha Festival and the C2E2, and it, I feel like this is the beginning of a great thing. No, it looks like a great thing, but tell us what The Troll King is all about. The Troll King, it sort of reads like a psychedelic fairy tale. It's about a muscular man, man's relationship to the forest, giving birth to children, and, um, and you know, having them relate to their own nature. And uh, it's a bit of a love story, it's a bit of a story about parenthood. But it's also a good home for both delirious beauty and, grues and gruesome, gruesome evil and horrificness. And, and why this topic? Why why the Troll King and why the psychedelic adventure? It's just sort of the way I tell stories, actually. I enjoy doing very slowly paced, wordless, and these sort of like dream sequences or just sort of sequences of events that I do just sort of comes natural to me. It, it feels like it's, it's so more useful to me to speak through metaphor, and I can... I can sort of communicate the things that I couldn't do if I was a writer or or when I was uh, an actor, which, which I was before. So, um, so I think comics is like the perfect medium for me. Well, you seem to be enjoying yourself here. I mean, you got a great group of people with Simon, with Matt's there. Mm -hmm. um, what's what? What else can are you going to be doing, uh, Colbain, with with your life, with your work, with uh, with whatever you're doing? Well, I have a lot of plans actually, and right now, um, this summer, I am going to uh, continue doing uh, short films as well. And I was uh, supposed to bring my first short film, which is a small sequence of this book in animation form. And then the next one is going to uh, be an original work that we're going to ship around film festivals. And uh, also, I'm putting together a performance art troupe, so we're going, going, I'm going to back to doing stage work again. And, uh, trying to work a little bit as a scenographer. It's always about the outfits, and uh, to me that's 100% of the work. If the outfit works, then everything, everybody are just peachy. <laughs> no, I, I could really see this as, uh, I'd love to see this in its animated format. It looks like a beautiful comic. I love the fact that you're using metaphors, which really aren't uh, used as often as they should be. But, you know, C2E2, inaugural convention. I was asking Simon about this, I'll ask you as well. When you go home, when you go back to Sweden, you know, what are you going to personally take away from this? From the C2E2? Yeah. Star Wars memorabilia. Tons of it. I'm completely obsessing about Ewok stuff from the 80s. So I'm buying all kinds of like Ewok crap I could come over. Simon actually is tipping me about old Star Comics issues that I'm going to hoard up tomorrow. <laughs> and also I bought a fantastic Ewok toothbrush that I'm going to scrub every, every part of my body with. Well, you know, uh, Colbyn, I really appreciate this interview. Take a look at The Troll King. Read this beautiful novel. Read the psychedelic dream sequence. Read everything about it. This is going to be one of the up-and-coming Swedish invasion guys from Top Shelf Productions. You know, I, I just want to thank you very much for this interview. Thank you, Masad.